Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jim of the Fuzzy, and welcome back to The Last Federation. When we left off, we were about to go see what we could do about the poor lust, and if we can improve our attitude to them anymore. One thing I noticed when I was looking at the uh, first popping over the pourings, we were looking at encouraging relations. Based on how much the uh, Boren Regent here likes the two races involved, the cost will vary. So, if we can make the uh, Borings and Skylaxians get along better with the Burlo and the sorry, we can make the Borings and the Skylaxians get along and the Burlusts and the Borings get along. Um, Burlusts really hate them. Can the Andor actually do anything? No. Whoa. Okay, that's super powerful. Peace Brokers. Okay. This would be... Really, really powerful. Anyway. What is the uh, resources here? Again, checking... It's going to still be a little while before they can. Another, I don't know how many months. So, what do we need to do? We need to get up to negative 75 influence to deal with Lilton. And then challenge to a duel. Alright. Well. That would be interesting. So how do we get... Um... Call 100... 40. Uh, no. Um... Yeah. So I could give him a science outpost for... Okay... Not a really big deal. Could give them... Ah! There we go. Mine on Colonized Moon. Maybe improve local... No. Yeah. I'm not good enough with them to help with the property vote, which is fine. Um... I could give them technology, but I would need to give them a dozen technologies, and I'm not sure I want to do that.
Um. They're so far behind in terms of fleet stuff and construction stuff that it's Let's give him this. The Soleta Array will be helpful. Well, it's utterly useless to them. And that's a nice thing. Because what it means is that while I did annoy a couple other people, I gained a benefit with a Burlos without giving them anything. So they gain absolutely nothing. Uh. Well. Hmm. Improve this with the Skylaxians, and yeah. Those Warlords. Well... Uh, nope. I need greater than zero influence. I need greater than 50 influence to get him to Chris Strong Federation. Okay. Well then, in that case, what else can I do? Here. So I get a little influence for basically pissing off every other person. I would irritate the Peltians, unfortunately. So doing this seems to suggest that I'm going to irritate the Peltians. Um... Is this with Armada construction? Maybe. Mine on Colonized Moon. And yeah, quality research can't really do anything. So what do I want to provide him with help in? Public order gives them better skirmish. I'm gonna have to make it a uh, medical assistance. Okay. And this is where, uh, things get really, really nasty. Okay. More space pirates. Well, the good news is that the, uh, Peltian military, the Peltian fleets are now a lot stronger. And that's a good thing. Um... Okay, let's, uh... 
call it a here. Oh, sorry. Cancel dispatch. Yes. Okay, I got two influence with the burlesque tray. Gained a handful of credit, which I don't care about. My car is Skylaxians. We are going to go research the, uh... We're going to go research... Solar Shield. I'm not going to research the Solar Shield. I'm going to go... You know what? I am going to go blow up a couple of pyro bases. Just to help with the... Um... Burlusts, I think. I need to get that above 75 somehow. And our parliament... Can I... Get these guys to, uh... Give me, uh, see, pull some, no, broker trade route, no with the Peltians, darn it. Do the Peltians actually have enough, uh, cesium, not yet, I need a thousand more. Four months, so. Of research. So, uh. Let's go, you know what, buy five scientists. Alright, and, uh. Card research. Ooh, monopole magnets. Ooh, super string theory. Nice. But I will get the uh solar shield. This is definitely uh These pirates are getting nasty. Uh oh. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullets get a manufacturing boost, fine. I'm gonna see what we can do about the uh, execution death rate. Really, probably just needs the uh, medical help. Oh, hey, I guess you got better, uh, overall environment stuff. Alrighty. Almost done. Finger on the pause button. Alrighty, good. Got the solar shield. Now let's stop by the burlust and, uh, throw down the... Uh, I'm not getting more compact living quarters. There we go. I needed to do that. Alrighty. Now we're over to help the Peltians who have enough cesium now. For another... P 
Excavate mine. And uh, let's get that credit going. Okay. Well, the burlists are, uh... Well, the Peltines are losing a lot of stuff there, it looks like. Indoor's got another t outpost. They got a lot now. What just happened? Uh, the... I don't know what's going on there. I honestly have no idea what's going on that planet anymore. Okay, Peltians, what are you doing? They have a really good planetary compatibility. Okay, I got some voting proxies. Which means... They're now generating over 700 per... Whatever that is per month. So they can go into the Andor Parliament. And go into the General Agenda. Broker Trader out with the... They do. I don't know if you noticed, but they do. Thank you very much. Maybe it'll take a month for it to kick in. I don't know why this isn't building anything. I thought that's what it did, but... Uh, currently constructing another armada that's 82% done. Ooh. That's not good. That's really not good. Unique Peltian. They're building the Peltian Asteroid Perturber. Unique Peltian Ultimate Weapon. Every 30 to 90 months, causes an asteroid to rapidly change trajectory and fly at another race's planet or outpost. The effects on planets are devastating, ripping through defense armadas as well as killing massive numbers of the populace. The Peltians can only build this if they're at war and on a planet where they have at least 1.0 compatibility. Okay then. Let's see. There was a, uh... Right, monopole magnets. But I need super string theory, and I will research that with the Andor. So the question is, how many... Scientists do I want six? Uh, let's go with seven. This doesn't... This is really nice. But there's an upper limit to how nice it is. And... Hmm... Oh no, who can, uh, put in a good word for me with the, uh, Burlus? That's gonna be hard. Um... I should also... While I'm here... Okay. Super string theory earned. Work on nano repair bots. Ooh, 
which would be worth Again, I'm willing to buy seven just to get this done. Because I want to give it to the Cushions. This will, uh... Help them out quite a bit, I think. Problem is that the, uh, Pelty and Armadas are now almost gone. Do I help them, uh, strike back against Peltians, or are the Peltians about to... Well, the Peltians are building another fleet, that much is for certain. Okay, that's just sad. The Skylaxian pirate armadas are devastating. It's like 40 to 1. Okay, those influence with Andors, and the Andors can't put in a good word for me at all. <clears throat> so I'm gonna need to get that influence up some other way. All right. Um. Well, first we're gonna go over to the Acution homeworld and give them this tech that, uh, Nano Repair Bots, and execute that. And now we're gonna give them some property development of, oh, compact housing. They can use that. Lots of pirates running around everywhere, messing everything up. Uh, their uh, population growth seems to be going down. That's kind of good. Oh. Skylaxine Freighter Distress Call. All right. That will be really good. And the Cushions just got a huge amount of space power. Just great. All right. Nope. Got some cash. And it looks like the Cushions are in old blow shape now. Next episode, we're going after this freighter. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Jimbo the Fuzzy, and I hope to see you again next time.